A new era starts now. Welcome to the GoPro Hero 10. GoPro has sent me the brand new Hero 10 and asked me to test out its maximum capabilities as an FPV pilot. So in this video, I'm going to take the GoPro Hero 10 into the field and test it and see if it's really the most powerful action camera an FPV pilot could dream of. So without further ado, time to hit the road. All right, guys, we are on the road. I'm here with my good friend, Zach. Yo. And we are about to hit a waterfall. In fact, we're gonna chase waterfalls today, which I'm super stoked about. And we are really gonna put the GoPro Hero 10 to a test. So let's get it. Change of plans. Zach mentioned there's a cool water hole along the way. And let me tell you, he did not disappoint. Just look. Look at this water right behind me. It looks so clear. And Zach is gonna jump off that tree right above me and I'm gonna utilize the new function of the GoPro 10, which is 4K, 4x3, 60 frames per second, so I can do some slow-mo later in post. All right, guys, so we just did a little test jump. Zach, as expected, completely killed it. No question asked. Uh, so now we're gonna bring the drone up. So we're gonna fly the Titan XL5. Zach is gonna jump off the tree now. I'm gonna probably film actually at 4K, 120 frames per second. Otherwise, we're gonna try to shoot later at 4K, 4x3, 60 frames per second. So let's go. All right, guys, so we just had a look at the footage and we absolutely nailed it. We ended up shooting at 4K, 120 frames per second to really utilize this new feature of the GoPro Hero 10. Zach, how was it? Oh, it was awesome. The <laughs> shot looked stunning. It's crazy. So now off to the next location. Let's go. All right, guys, so as we packed up at the other location, we met these two fellows right behind me and these guys were super keen to actually do an action scene with their motorbikes. So I'm going to utilize the new function of the GoPro 10, which is 4K, 4x3, 60 frames per second. So I can go nice and close. So if you ask me, we're ready. Let's go. Go! Alright guys, so we finally made it to our last destination for the, today. We met some amazing people along the way on day one, which is absolutely great. But just have a look at this majestic waterfall right behind me. It's look, looking absolutely insane. And now all we have to do is dive it down with the FPV drone. But for now, let's head down. All right guys, so we just made it to the bottom of the waterfall. As you can see, it's right behind me. And the aim in this shot is to fight, to basically chase Zach as he's running. And then you reveal the waterfall at the end and I'll be diving it down. But other than that, super stoked, so let's get it. What is going on guys? It's another beautiful day and yesterday was absolutely insane together with Zach because we were chasing waterfalls and all the other crazy things that we've done. But today is another day. This means we're going on another full send mission. And in fact, we are already here because Zach took me to this epic location where he's gonna jump off a rope today. So let's see how we go. So for this shot, we're going to shoot at 4K, 120 frames per second because I really want that crisp slow motion.
had a look at the footage. It's actually looking super crisp and super close. So I was pretty happy. How are you feeling, bro? Oh, dude, it was unreal. <laughs> it was insane. Off to the next location. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the final destination. We met up with one of Zach's good friends, who is an amazing motocross driver. And you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the GoPro 10 to a test and probably gonna film everything in slow mo. If you ask me, let's roll, baby. Today is another day and another full send mission and it's probably the pinnacle of all full send missions that we ever done because Zach is gonna jump off this bridge right behind me which is 18 meters high. the shot we got that close-up so that we want it guys do you think we did it yeah let's go baby let's, let's go. go all right guys so we made it to another location once again we are here at the cool waterfall spot as you can see right behind me it's actually super secluded and super peaceful and we have we have zach right behind me on the top of this little waterfall i'm gonna fly the protect 35 this one again we're gonna shoot it slow motion i'm gonna be nice and close as you know we know i love these kind of shots so let's see if we can nail it let's go Alright guys, back on route, and I'm here with my friend Coops, and we are trying to chase some crazy waves today. What's happening, bro? Yeah, the waves are looking really good. We're going to meet up with Harley Clifford, eight-time world champion wakeboarder. Alex yeah. is out on the ski with him right now. We're going to do some foiling, we're going to do some surfing, and yeah. So much to do, right? Some crazy shots. Absolutely. Alright, so we're just coming down to Fingal Beach. Trying to find some waves. Beautiful conditions today. The boys are down the beach on the jet ski, so I think we're gonna drive down the beach, find a little protected spot just by ourselves. Let's get it. All right guys, so we are back for this shot. We're going to take the Chimera 7 with the GoPro 10. Probably gonna do a mix of 5K and 4K footage. And I really want to get as close as possible. And the boys are already outside right behind me. I'm not quite sure if you can see them. And we're trying to get some cool close-up shots of the jet skis driving. Um, super stoked for this one because I really want to get some cool action shots for this one. Uh, yeah, let's get it.
So I just actually reviewed the footage. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty epic. We did a mix of close-ups, wide angle. We also absolutely nailed the figure eight shot, which I'm super proud of. We pretty much nailed this for today. So it's time to go to the next location. Let's go. Change the location. This time out of breath, because we're trying to get some crazy mountain bike shots. And as you can see behind me, I just walked all the way up here. The boys are in front of me. Pro tip, never pack too much equipment which is easier said than done. When you fly FPV and want to get the banger shots, I'm currently charging batteries in my pouch just because I didn't have enough time to do so. Jesus Christ. So now is the time to like, subscribe and comment. Show some love and tell me that it was worth it to get all the way up here. Okay, let's get it. Just discussing uh, how we're gonna do this we're just gonna go all the way up to the hill and we're probably gonna do a mix again of 5k for uh, 5k 4x3 30 frames per second just to get that nice motion blur and then most likely also get some slow-mo clips so 4k 4x3 60 frames per second so we get the most out of the shot damn look at it around like this is absolute fpv heaven something i've been dreaming of for so long so another great spot to put the gopro here 10 to a test let's get it guys we are here at another location and if you know me by now i have a weak spot for waterfalls speaking of waterfalls we are currently i think at the biggest waterfall i've ever been it's right behind me i'm not quite sure if you can see it but all that matters right now is that i'm gonna go on the next full send mission let's go so this is a this is not i'm not gonna lie this is a pretty tough shot it's super far away, we actually measured on Google Maps, it's around 700 meters away from where I'm standing. So it's actually not too crazy, but still it is a risk. Um, I just want to nail, nail the shot. I really want to get as close as possible over the rock formation and then really do this really clean dive. I'm going to shoot at 4K 60 frames per second because I want to have the freedom later in post to slow it down. But other than that, literally adrenaline is kicking in. Let's fly, baby. Right, guys so we just got that close-up shot that i was dreaming of getting it was absolutely insane and the best part we shot everything in 60 frames per second which means i can actually slow it down in post which i'm super excited about so it's safe to say that this trip has been absolutely amazing because we got to shoot at so many diverse locations and i'm actually super excited to have a look at all this amazing footage so it's time to go back in the studio let's go Woo! wow what a trip so here are my final thoughts as to why i believe any fpv pilot who wants to take their content to the next level should get a gopro hero 10. first 5k 4x3 30 frames per second on the gopro hero 9 i never really utilized the 5k function however on the gopro hero 10 i was able to use it most of the times because now it allows you to shoot at 5k 4x3 30 frames per second which is amazing because later on when you put it through real steady go it doesn't crop as much over the last couple of weeks i was able to notice the difference between shooting in 4k and 5k and let me tell you it's pretty damn crisp shooting in 5k 30 frames per second and keeping the shutter at 160 really gives you the most cinematic footage you could ever dream of just make sure you pair it with an nd filter the second reason why i believe the gopro 10 is an absolute game changer for any fpv pilot is that you're now able to finally shoot at 4k 60 frames per second 4 by 3. As I mentioned earlier, when you put your footage through the stabilization software like Real Steady Go, it'll crop the footage into a 16 by 9. Being able to finally take slow-mo clips in 4x3 is just 
Yeah, I'm pretty speechless. I'm sure you were able to tell in the video that I really took advantage of this new feature. Having the freedom later in post to slow things down when you have to is really a lifesaver sometimes. So yeah, 4K, 60 frames per second is probably my most favorite feature of the GoPro 10. Another great feature of the GoPro 10 is also that you are able to shoot at 4K, 120 frames per second. Yes, you may be saying, oh, by 16 by 9, I know. But if you have a shot in mind and you know exactly how you want to execute it and you're aware of the croppage later, it is still amazing that you're now able to shoot at 4K, 120 frames per second. If you wanted to shoot at 120 frames per second on a GoPro 9, you would have to shoot at 2.7K, which normally never looks good unless you really shoot in the most perfect conditions. Which, let's be honest, is rarely the case. Being able to shoot at 4K 120 frames per second is a great feature for FPV pilots, especially if they want to nail an action shot that requires you to slow down later in post. As you can see in the video, I shot at 120 frames per second quite often, especially when I wanted to nail a close-up slow motion shot. Another great thing I noticed about the GoPro 10 is the reaction time of the touchscreen. For example, the touchscreen on the GoPro 9 is sometimes not as responsive compared to the GoPro 10. Having a more responsive touchscreen really makes a huge difference, especially when you're in the middle of a shoot where time is money. This means being able to quickly change between settings or presets really makes a huge difference. And finally, this is for any FPV pilot who likes to vlog like myself or likes to do any POV style videos, the GoPro Hero 10 is a great vlogging camera. In fact, I don't even believe that I still need my DSLR camera to vlog. This thing is an absolute beast and the internal microphone is top notch. For this video, besides the intro and the outro, everything was filmed in the GoPro Hero 10 and there was no external mic attached to it. So you'll be the judge of the audio and footage quality. However, I believe if you're in the field and you know everything is going fast paced, having a GoPro as a vlogging camera over a DSLR camera that is quite heavy, it's a no-brainer to me that I would rather go with the GoPro 10 over a DSLR camera. And that's it guys. These are the reasons why I believe the GoPro 10 is an absolute must have for any FPV pilot. I truly hope that you guys found this video helpful. I can assure you that I had an absolute blast putting this together and I really wanna thank everyone who was involved putting their heart and soul in this and really risking it all just to get that money shot. That being said, if you have any questions regarding the GoPro 10 or FPV in general, just drop them down in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. I will also link all the products that I use for this shoot down below so you can shop my kit, the GoPro 10 or anything else that you saw in the video that I used. But in the meantime, stop thinking, start flying. Let's get it.